Oh, hi, I'm Brett. My approach to life is to make everything I can myself. Today I'm going to show you paper tools, from setup all the way through first cut. A lot of people have been asking me, what are the actual steps you have to take to get your machine up and running? I've made more detailed videos on setting up your camera and mounting it on your machine, but today what I'm going to focus on is the process. Connecting paper tools to Mach 4, establishing your camera offset, and making your first cut. All right, let's go. I've got a USB camera mounted to my CNC machine and a long extension running through the cable track over to my computer. I open the paper tools installer and run through the steps. I'm accepting the default, so it's just next, next, finish. Then double click the icon on your desktop or the one in the start menu. The Paper Tools application launches and shows a large camera view area on the left with the main interface for the software on the right. Okay, let's get Paper Tools talking to Mach 4. I click on the message at the top showing your machine is not connected. Now I can see options for which Mach screens to add. You can choose the one you normally use or just add Paper Tools to all of them. Come back whenever to remove Paper Tools from any of your Mach screens. Okay, close this window and fire up Mach 4. You'll notice that Paper Tools shows you your machine's coordinates and they change as you jog your machine around. Great. Now Paper Tools needs to know the real world offset from your camera to your tool. So I open the side menu, pick Camera Offset. What I see is a step-by-step -step process to guide me through it. First thing to do is print out a visual target on a regular piece of paper, but you could also draw a square if you want. The default app to print stuff appears on my computer, open with a single page PDF. I click Print and I get a page with a square target right in the middle. Just like it says, pop this bad boy on your work table and jog your machine over. Okay. Now, line up the tool with the center of your target. Zero your Z right at the paper surface. Remember, your precision going forward comes from here. We're gonna use this piece of paper as a measuring device. So listen to your grandfather and measure twice, cut once. Click Save Tool Position, and let's go on to the next step. So move your tool up by half an inch, or 12 millimeters, you need to jog over so the target's in view of the camera, but it doesn't have to be perfect, just so Paper Tools can see it. You'll notice the target is highlighted with the dash rectangle. Just click on that. Paper Tools will now autopilot your machine, navigating over your target. When you're ready, click Navigate to Target. Take your hands off the wheel, but of course, pay attention to the road. And now we know the offset from the camera to the tool. So let's try it out. By clicking the button in the next step, Paper Tools can jog your machine back and forth, putting the tool over the target and the camera over the target. Okay, we're all set up. Now let's make something. Go to your projects and let's use a slot paper tool. Think of this as a way to turn your CNC machine into a kind of band or table saw. It can cut any length within your machine's limits at whatever depth you tell it. I'll start by cutting a slot that's a two inches, uh, five centimeters, and one tenth of an inch deep, like it's shown on the paper. Just like before, when the camera sees the square targets, they highlight in the app's camera view. I click on both of them, then navigate to all. This time, Paper Tools auto-pilots my machine to find the exact position of each one. It also captures a frame and looks out for all the labels and the steps to cut the slot. This might be a good time to mention, you can also draw your own squares and text on a plain piece of paper. It'll recognize your handwriting, but if it messes up a little or you prefer typing, you can fix it up later. Okay, here's my frame, along with the two labeled ends of the slot, S1 and S2, and the step to make the cut, which I can adjust here if I want. The two buttons on each label move the camera and the tool over the target, just like before. I'll call this frame first slot. Now let's have a look at some G-code. Yay, I love looking at G-code. Anyway, it's nice to double check. Pretty straightforward, so let's run it. I can click go to frame to go back to the original location the frame was captured. This lets me put back my paper tool to confirm the slot I got was what I intended. It also lets me widen it, deepen it, extend it, whatever real world scenario comes up. And that's just scratching the surface. Oh, that's, that's terrible. There are lots of paper tools for everyday uses and you can skip the CAD and skip the CAM and just build. Thanks for watching.